Hi, everyone. One of the most frequently asked questions after concerts is, what is your favorite organ in the world? And that, of course, is a really hard, if not impossible, question to answer. But if I had to choose one, I think it would be this instrument right here behind me. Uh, we are currently in Diemstein, Germany, in the St. Laurentius Kirche. And this is the place where I had my very first organ lesson at the age of eight. And this was also the instrument that was at my disposal for daily practicing. And I cannot believe to this day that I had such a gorgeous instrument available. Um, <laughs> and I really attribute it to many of the qualities that I have today as a musician, uh, because this instrument just taught me so, so well. Um, let me give you a short tour of this place to give you an idea of where my roots are. And, um, and I'll start actually with the building. If you look around, you'll notice it's not a shabby building at all. In fact, it was built by one of the most important architects of the Baroque period by the name of Balthasar Neumann. And because it is such a beautiful and important historic building, it is under landmark protection. That means no changes can be made to the exterior or the interior. So when the organ uh, that was in this building originally fell into disrepair and was no longer salvageable, uh, plans were made in the 80s to replace it. Of course, they couldn't replace the case, so a compromise was made to uh, replace the interior of the organ to build a new organ uh, with the Baroque case that the case is maintained. So that's the instrument we have now. One more interesting fact about this building is that it is one of the few Simultankirchen, as we say in Germany. There are some of them, but they're not very common. And that means that this building is used by both the Protestant and the Roman Catholic communities here in this village. But that doesn't mean that they're sharing the same worship space. What you're seeing right now is the Roman Catholic portion of the church. And what you see here on the other side is a wall. And behind this wall is the Protestant portion of this church. <laughs> and that is an entirely different sanctuary with its own separate organ. And um, so people could do their thing amongst their kind, so to speak. <laughs> anyway, more importantly, here is the organ that I first learned to play on. It was built by Peter Fier of the Black Forest. And like I said earlier, I think it's just one of the most um, <laughs> magnificent instruments that I've ever had the pleasure to play on. It is just built beautifully. I mean, the craftsmanship is exquisite. The, uh, it has three manuals. The top is the swell manual, the one below that is the great manual, and then interestingly, the very bottom manual has no stops on its own. It is purely a coupler manual. So if you want to couple, you just simply go down to the bottom uh, keyboard. And um, the action is just exquisite. I mean, it's very, very precise, very quick, and very light, but not so light that it makes you feel insecure. I mean, you can really dig into those keys and. And, um, and I think that's especially important if you're learning to play the organ. Um, the stop action is fantastic. I mean, you can pull out these stops with a single finger and they give you no trouble at all. And it's been that way since I've known this organ. Um, the stop list is primarily uh, neo-baroque, although it doesn't have any of the uh, <laughs> fearful uh, features that we associate with neo-baroque instruments. So it doesn't screech. It just has a beautiful shimmering crown at the very top, and the mixtures are just really well balanced into the rest of the organ. Uh, there are some more romantic elements. If you look over here, we've got a clarinet, and then we've got up here a solitional. If you pull it halfway, it's actually a celeste, and if you pull it all the way, it's just the straight solitional. And then we've got two kind of very wide, um, gorgeous romantic flutes, which, which give this instrument a little bit more versatility. Um, <laughs> there's so many memories that rush into my mind whenever I come up here, and I'm just looking at this mirror um, above the console, and um, there used to be this key that was hidden behind the mirror to turn on the organ, and I always had such a great time climbing onto the organ bench and then reaching behind the mirror, because of course at home we couldn't climb on furniture, but to get the organ key was allowed, so. I always enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> and then over here, we have the Lida Anzeiger, which is the device where you punch in the uh, hymn number of the upcoming hymn, 
And during services, I would oftentimes just type in random numbers and display them. <laughs> Nobody ever commented on that, so I don't know. I think I was probably the only person who took pleasure in that. But um, those are just some of the memories. I just love this place. I love the way it looks. I love the way this building smells. I mean, it, it is so meaningful to me. Uh, and frankly, I love the way it feels. <laughs> it's extremely cold here right now. It must be just above freezing. And uh, it's in the wintertime, and when I was a kid, um, there is heat in the building, but they would, of course, not heat for, you know, an eight-year-old kid to come in and practice for a couple of hours each day. So there were all these strategies that we had to apply to, um, to make practicing more, <laughs> more comfortable. You know, we had the finger, uh, the, the gloves with the cut of fingers, and then I would come here on Sunday mornings right after church ended and took advantage of the heated building. And, uh, but that would only last an hour or two, and everything would just fall off again. So, but anyway, this is such a meaningful place to me, and I'm so glad to be able to share it with you, that you have an impression of where my roots are as an organist. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're ever in Diemstein, uh, come on by and check out this place. It's really spectacular. The people are wonderful. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to sit down, do a little sound sample, and post that for you in the next video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much.